Hi you guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. This I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different today. Kind of just take you through like some meals I've been eating. I don't want to call this like a what I eat in a day or what I eat in a week because I've kind of just been like filming some meals over the past couple days and then I want to cook a bunch like bulk cook today and show you guys what I am making and what I've been making. I want to make some like festive fall things like I've been seeing these pumpkin cinnamon rolls everywhere so I want to make those. I want to make my favorite breakfast and show you guys how I've been making my poached eggs at home which is so easy and I don't know I've just been like posting meals a lot lately and I get so many questions on Instagram like what the recipe is and we're just gonna be cooking and hanging and talking and chatting and who knows what else got myself together a bit sky's at school i'm gonna pick her up a little bit later before we jump into all the yummy goodness of the meals i want to thank best buy and aura ring for partnering with me on today's video a lot of you have noticed that i have been wearing this aura ring and i'm wearing the generation 3 aura ring it's from best buy and i've been wearing it for a few weeks now and i'm obsessed with it like i really truly have been getting so many like dms and comments asking if i would recommend short answer is yes and i'm going to tell you a little bit why i love it so much ever since i've been focusing a lot on like my meals and what I'm putting into my body. I've really loved tracking all of my health stats with the Aura Ring. It's the most trusted smart ring out on the market right now and it's just absolutely incredible. Aura really focuses on your sleep, which is so interesting to see every single morning. It's my routine to wake up and check my sleep score just because I really love to be able to dive into like when I fell asleep. I've talked about this many times on my channel. Actually, I have a really hard time falling asleep at night and it shows me everything. I'll put a little on screen recording of like like what last night's sleep looked like. I can literally see everything. They recommend you wear it on your index finger and you can buy a sizing kit from Best Buy. I'm gonna have the link down below. I think it would be a perfect gift for someone this holiday season, but I wear mine on my index finger because that's what they recommend. It's supposed to just give you the best reading and it tracks it by the arteries. There's little sensors in the ring. It'll track it through the arteries in your hand and monitor like all of your statistics, which is just so crazy that we have technology that can do that and that we can just see like on our phone the next morning. If you want to gift one to someone this Christmas or buy one for yourself, they start at $2.99 and then it's just like a $5.99 a month membership so that you can stay up to date on all of your stats every month it can really help you improve your sleep energy levels just based off of the statistics that you can get from your readings i love that it tracks like my activity throughout the day it will tell me like how many calories i burn during a workout it will tell me when i need to get up and move my body like it just really is incredible and i love that it's like a chic ring that like no one would even know you're like wearing i think we've all seen the ugly like bands that people wear on their wrists um and if you're really into tracking things like that but you also are into like an aesthetic i think the aura ring is the perfect way to go because it just looks like a gold or silver or black whatever color you get ring i've definitely taken a step more towards my health and being more health conscious not only with like what i'm putting into my body but also just tracking everything else and I really feel as a whole, since I got this ring, I've just felt so much more motivated. Like I've told you guys in previous vlogs, I've started running and to be able to like see a number after my run and um, see how it adds on to my day and my readiness level and how it just has improved my sleep as well. It really has motivated me not only to be more active, but to work harder on like my sleep and what I put in my body and all the other things that go along with health and wellness. So I really do love this and I do recommend it. I think it would be an amazing gift for like a mom, dad, sister, brother. You can gift them the sizing kit, which is at Best Buy, which I'll have down in the description box. The sizing kit will help you determine exactly what size you need because they don't run based off of like true two ring size. Like if you were to ask your mom, like what ring size are is your index finger it's not going to be exactly that the way that it fits is just a little bit different so i definitely had to size up a little bit and i was able to determine that by going to best buy and like 
using the sizing kit there. If you have a Best Buy near you, they can size you in store, which is what I did. But yeah, I got I got mine in the gold. I love it. I think it's so chic and you would just never know that I'm like tracking all the things that I am. Highly recommend. I'll have the link down below. Thank you Aura Ring and Best Buy for sponsoring this video and let's get into the meals. Um, we'll see what else we get into today, but I'm pretty much just at home cooking so i thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along okay first up i'm gonna make my favorite breakfast right now which is a avocado toast with a poached egg on top so i just have a fourth of an avocado i like a really thin spread because the egg gives so much flavor and then i have some olive oil some red pepper flakes i'm gonna top it with this this is the bread i'm gonna use it's the ezekiel sesame bread and it's flourless so it's supposed to be better for you comes and you usually want to freeze it the last way longer if i don't use this i'm using some type of like sourdough usually okay i'm bringing a pot a little pot of water to a boil on the stove and then you do not want to add salt that makes the egg kind of separate i've found i've done this like a million times now and i feel like i've been a little scientist with my poached egg so bring it to a boil and then you want to add a little bit of vinegar i'm just using red wine vinegar they say not to use red they say to use white or any light colored vinegar because this can dye the egg i have not had any problems with it dyeing the egg and this is all that i have had or this is all that i buy i just add like that much and then bring it down to a simmer okay so they say it works the best with fresh eggs mine are a couple days old but it doesn't really matter if there's little pieces, little white pieces, it's fine. Next, you wanna crack your egg into a little dish like this so that it's easier to drop down as one into the little vortex of water that you're gonna create. Yeah, so I just have these little like ranch bowls. Okay, next you want something like this to scoop the egg out afterwards um to drain it and strain it this is also what i make my little vortex with so i'm gonna stir the water and you don't have to be crazy with this it can be very subtle and you just drop your egg in the middle and let it poach so i leave the heat on simmer for about oh my god there's lots of stragglers in this egg um that's okay we can cut them off i'll let it poach on for about like 30 seconds and then i'll completely turn off the heat and let this cook for like four minutes i don't like mine i don't like when my whites are runny and i want it pretty cooked i only want the yolk to be slightly runny so four minutes is my favorite time for this dish another reason i only use a fourth of an avocado is this toast is really tiny <laughs> like it's a really small toast I usually will make two pieces, but since I'm having cinnamon rolls too, I'm just going to make one. We're going to make some cinnamon rolls next. I want to make these pumpkin cinnamon rolls I've been seeing like all over reels um, and TikTok and stuff. But anyway, so we have a thin, nice thin spread of avocado, whatever I showed you, and then I'm going to use some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. To this day, it is still like one of my favorite things ever, and this is the only good one, I swear. Like the other ones you can buy are just not it. So I drive all the way to Trader Joe's to restock on that every couple months. There she is. So all of these white wispies are what you don't want. That was like the worst one I've ever done, and it's the time I'm filming her. On to the toast. Oh no, she's good. We just flipped her over so she looks better now. Oh yeah. Almost, it's almost perfect. I feel like when you do it in a pot, you get more of that sphere shape versus when you do it in a pan, which I've done, you get more of a flat shape. But this is like almost perfect. Okay, I'm going to add some Maldon salt on top. And then let's cut her open. And then I kind of just slice it on top so you get a little bit in each bite. This is no joke, you guys, what I've been making almost every day for breakfast. Cheers. We're going to do the organic jumbo cinnamon rolls. These are from Trader Joe's.
For the cinnamon rolls, I need to cut these cinnamon sticks that are gonna go in as the little stems. There's our little pumpkins, and then we're gonna stick the little <laughs> cinnamon sticks. Love. And then dress them in some, 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 some icing. dash of cinnamon voila we have little pumpkin cinnamon rolls they're too cute i think these would work the best with like a jumbo cinnamon roll hi guys welcome back to the kitchen whoa this is okay next up it's 5 30 i'm gonna start dinner we're gonna make a blackened chicken pesto pasta i got some really fun noodles that i want to cook i'm gonna have a stomach ache right now from the i ate too many cinnamon rolls for the blackened chicken i'm heating up my stainless steel pan i'm about to do the water test just did the water test and everything is ready to go so i'm gonna add a little bit of whatever you're gonna use as your fat um, and I'm going to use some bacon grease. Using bacon grease. Bacon fat. I save it from this yummy bacon that I make, Sky. And then I have some blackened chicken. Let me move this all around. And we're going to blacken this chicken. This is the seasoning I use. It's so yummy. I'll link it down below. Black magic. But most of the time I use Simply Organic. And then my only other ones I have, my only other brand ones are Trader Joe's, the Everything Bagel, and this is so good. Ranch seasoning, if you ever wanna put this on chicken, it's really, really yummy. And like oil sauce for the pasta, I'm gonna keep it very light. So the spicy chicken will be yummy. You can make your own pesto, which is really fun and yummy and easy, but this is, just my favorite that i always try to keep stocked because i sometimes just like to put this on sandwiches um toasts and just different types of i honestly just love pesto so much and i just throw it on so many different things so this is my favorite it's by gotham greens i just get mine at kroger mine's at kroger so i think they probably have it everywhere but i want to do this big thick pasta with a light, like creamy, cheesy pesto. I think that would be really yummy. And I've never done a noodle this thick. So, we'll do that. Then I'm also gonna be adding burrata to this pasta. I love burrata, it's my favorite cheese. Yeah, I'm gonna get this water boiling and use this big one because these noodles are so thick. Okay, I just burnt the shit out of my hand. I'm so upset. I've been like running it under cold water. It feels worse than it looks, I swear. Anyways, back to dinner. I just sliced up the chicken. I added the pesto and heavy cream and all that like off camera before I burnt my hand. Because I was going to show you guys and I started to film, but then I didn't push record and I grabbed the pan that the chicken was in that was in the oven. So it was so hot and I did that. But anyways, yummy. <laughs> I really honestly just can't wait to eat. 
We're gonna put a lot of Parmesan on top. I'll put more on my bowl. Okay, and then we have some pepper. I love those shakers my mom got me. I love that I can do them with one hand. Literally just did the Gotham greens because I was gonna go in and make a, my plan was to make a, to show you guys how I make my cream sauces with like an Alfredo sauce. I was gonna do like an Alfredo-y pesto. <sighs> And then I burnt my hand. So we stuck to just using the pesto straight out of the Gotham Greens <laughs> can with some added olive oil. So I'm gonna dig in and make myself a little bowl. I'm gonna carry this block on to not tomorrow because I'm gonna let my hand heal. I physically cannot cook any more meals. I'll see you guys in a couple days when my hand feels better and we're gonna make a couple other dishes just because this one was a fail and I don't want to end this video with this just like putting pesto in noodles okay let's do a little taste test before I drown myself in some wine mm. okay yum mm. Mm. still so good so good I have to heat it up because it's been sitting out. Noodles, you guys, they're huge. I definitely think they would be yummier with like a cream sauce, which is what I was going to do because it's so much noodle. That like a thick Alfredo would be so good. But they're so good. Ow, I need to eat with this ham. The chicken's perfect and it's spicy. Anyway, see you guys in a couple days. We'll make some more stuff. Okay, we're back. It's literally the next day. I did not know I was going to feel better. We went to the pumpkin patch this morning. I'm going to make some early dinner because we're probably going to go outside and play. It's like a really nice fall day. And I'm going to make some bison tacos tonight. Cucumber salad. I'm gonna use, uh, what else? Just spreading it out on the pan and I'm gonna drizzle it with olive oil, which you're sitting on. And I wish I had a fresh lemon, but I don't. This, my neighbor brought me this last night. It's fresh aloe from her plant. I swear this is what saved me because my burn doesn't feel like anything today. It feels brand new. And we're gonna open this bison meat and I'm gonna season it with ice seasoned tacos. I run through these like, <laughs> I put it on everything. I love paprika. I have my tortillas. Wee wee. 